All right, so now in our main activity, we're gonna create two variables. One's gonna be a private late in var, and it's gonna be of drag drop adapter, which can be of type drag drop adapter, and then we're gonna write a private var of items list, which is going to equal a mutable list of, and it's gonna be of type string. And then inside our onCreate method, we are going to create two functions. We're gonna write create fake items, which is going to just give some items inside our recycler view to start off with. And we are going to write another one, which is called set up recycler. And these are gonna be the main two that we are going to use on onCreate. So the first one we can write to get it out of the way is going to be the fake items, which is going to be private function create fake items. And inside here, we're going to create a for loop, which is for i in 0 to 25. We want to add to our items list, items list dot add. And we're going to write this essentially item with i as the number. So it will just create essentially 20, uh, 26 items, and they're gonna be named after whatever number i is at. So that's a very nice small piece of code to save us a lot of time. And right after that, we are going to create another function, which is gonna be private function, and it's gonna be fab add item. And this is so we can add items while we're using the app to the recycler view. So the first thing we want to do is get our floating action button, which is fab underscore add, and write set on click listener. This is going to open the dialog box, and I'm gonna copy and paste a log, but uh, you, you want to add logs every now and then, so that you know what your app is doing in case something goes wrong. And right under there, we're gonna do value builder. It's going to equal an alert dialog dot builder with the context of this. And under that, we are going to create value inflator, which is going to take a layout inflator. So layout inflator. Now we'll go val dialog layout, and that's going to equal the inflator dot inflate, and it's going to take r dot layout dot edit text layout with the roots of null. Now we're going to write val edit text is going to equal our dialog layout dot find view by id and we have to say edit text here and inside we will write our edit text which is r dot id dot et underscore edit text then we can go down and we're going to write with builder we can set the title to add a note exclamation mark and we're going to write set positive button with the text of okay, and it's gonna take this lambda expression, which is dialog and which, we're gonna click enter, enter, and enter one more time, and it's gonna take our drag drop adapter, and we're gonna write update item, and it's gonna take edit text, dot text, and to string. And then here we're gonna write a toast, which is gonna take the application context as the context, and the text it will say text, successfully added. And then we want to set a negative button so the user has the option to not do anything. Essentially set negative button and it's gonna be called cancel and it's gonna take the same Lambda expression from before which is dialog and which, enter, 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 enter one more time. And inside here I essentially just added a log but you can do whatever you want there and it says log the main negative button clicked, but you can add whatever extra code you want in there. Then under that, we are going to set the view to the dialog layout, and we want to call show on this dialog box. So now you have the dialog that lets you add the text to the recycler view. Now the final thing we want to do is actually set up the recycler view. So let's go up here again, and we can go private function set up recycler view. And inside here, we're gonna take a drag drop adapter, and that's gonna equal drag drop adapter with the items list as the argument. And then we're gonna do val my list. It's gonna be of type drag drop swipe recycler view. And we're gonna write equals find view by ID, which is gonna be r.id.list. 
and then we're gonna write my list layout manager equals linear layout manager with the context of this. And right under that, we can write my list dot adapter is gonna equal the drag drop adapter. Now we're gonna get my list dot orientation, which is going to equal drag drop swipe recycler view. And it's gonna take list orientation and it's gonna be vertical list with vertical dragging. And right under that, we are going to write my list and this one's gonna be just an extra item, reduce item alpha on swiping. And we're gonna set true to that. So essentially what that means is that when you swipe to the left or right, it's going to fade out the item. So it's just like an extra nice effect. And if we type list one more time, you can see there are a lot of methods you can put there, such as long press to start dragging, or uh, by, I don't know, whatever you feel like, you can read through this by yourself. I will leave a link to the description for the dependency so you can read everything about it. But uh, there's still a lot that can be done with this, but we'll leave it at that for now and we'll continue creating what I showed you earlier. So the next thing we have to do is create a value of on item swipe listener. And that's gonna be of an object of on item swipe listener of type string. So we also need to implement the methods that come with that. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna write implement members. We're gonna click on okay. It's gonna give you all of this. So right where it says to do, we can actually delete that to do give it a bit of space. We are going to add a log and it's gonna take the tag of main. You're gonna have a position of position, a direction of direction here, and an item of item. And the reason I add this log is just to find out what these uh, parameters actually do. It's something more for me, so I can actually find out how to use these later. So it's very important you add these and when you run your program, you'll understand what I mean. But then we have to write a when block, which is going to take the direction. And when direction is equal to on item swipe listener dot swipe direction, and it's going to be right to left, which essentially means we're going to create a deleted button because when you go right to left, it shows the trash can. We are going to write a block in here and we're going to create a toast and it's going to take application context as the context. And inside the text, we can write item and we're gonna write deleted so it will get this item or i mean this item up here and it will say it got deleted and then it called start show for us so that's pretty easy and in case you have other code you want to do this is a to do add deleted code so essentially if you have a database or something you can add the code that sends the request to delete the item here otherwise we're going to create an on item swipe listener dot swipe direction and this time it's gonna be left to right. So this is gonna to be to archive or whatever second function you want. You can add it here. And inside here, we're just gonna do the same thing as earlier and create a toast with application context. And inside there, we will write item archived. But essentially what both of these methods do at the moment is delete the item. So you definitely need to find a way to add the code that you want in here so that when those items disappear or get swiped away, they actually end up somewhere. So we're just gonna copy this to do and we're gonna paste it right down here and we're gonna write add archived code. So for when you do something that requires archiving or whatever you want. Else we are going to return false. And we're also gonna return false down here. Then we can actually clean this up a bit. And at the bottom, we're gonna write my list dot swipe listener, and that's gonna equal the on item swipe listener. So that will just create everything for us. And finally, I could have add, I could have added this on the on create, but I think here's a pretty cool place to add it. So let's just add our fab add item down here so that we can actually add items to our uh, create fake items list. And finally, all we have to do now is actually test the app. So we're gonna click on play. I'm gonna remove this screen and we are going to wait. All right, so here we are. So let's test this app out by clicking on the plus button. It'll say, what are you thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking. I will click on okay and it will add it at the top of the list and you can delete them. It'll say item zero deleted or if it's item one deleted, it'll say item one deleted. Here it will say, I don't know what I'm thinking, deleted. Or you can archive it. If you go to the left, it'll say item two archived. 
and you can archive everything you want. You can also move this up and down. And if I actually open this logcat down here and wait for everything to catch up, you will see that if I move item 14 to here, it will completely rearrange the list down here. So you can see item six, for example, let's move it past item seven. It will update the list and it will put item six where we just dragged it to and item nine will be at the top. All right, so I just went inside here and I wrote a drag drop so I could actually get the debugging I wanted. So essentially, if you add something like, uh, let's pretend I add a lot of random text and you check inside the log, you'll see that it successfully adds it to the beginning of the list. And these are for some very long lists. And if I drag it down one more time or drag this up, you'll see that everything gets reordered the way you put it. So if I put something else down here, it'll go to item 14. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it says Akubas and blah, blah, whatever it says there. And if we delete it, it will be removed from the list. So next time I add something, or next time the list gets updated, it won't be there anymore. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. And I hope this tutorial helped with something. If you have any other requests, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to look at them and find a way to create a video about them. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.